quick video about the Ecobee Enhanced. This is the Ecobee Enhanced. You can see right now my heat is on. I'm just going to pull this off here without shutting it down. I'm sure that's good for it. And just give you a little close up of the wiring. Um, so right now we've got uh, the green wires not being used. We've got our common wire blue. We have the power red, and then we have W for heat, and that's white. And then I'm gonna take you downstairs to the furnace and just see how we're making this work. Okay, so this is my 350 year old oil burning furnace, and it's on its way out. Of course, after winter, it'll be on its way out because why not pay for oil for one more season? We're replacing it with a gas powered furnace and the biggest issue is that this furnace does not have a C-wire. So you can see there are two wires here and there is no C-wire. It's just a two wire system. In fact, the furnace, which is really old, has two wires and our boiler, which is pretty new, also has two wires on this zone. And we're using the same solution for both of these in order to use a smart thermostat. And that solution is to use these 24 volt AC power supplies. So these are external 24 volt AC power supplies. And really all they're doing is powering the smart thermostats because the smart thermostats need 24 volts and they need a common wire. And so we're providing that. And to make it work with our equipment, in this case, the furnace, we're using this device called a relay. And the way it's wired is pretty straightforward. So here's our incoming power, this white wire here. And we have one side of the white wire is going, let's, let's get a better view here. So one side is going through this way, go directly to the red wire, which is R on our thermostat. The other side is actually being split and one leg is going to the blue wire or the C on our thermostat, that's the blue wire. And then the other side is going to the relay. That's the green wire here. So incoming power gets split. One side goes to C, one side goes to our relay. It doesn't matter which one of these wires we use, either of these white wires from the power supply, it's AC, so it doesn't matter. There's no uh, polarity here. And that's our red and blue, or R and C. So that's how we power the thermostat. Whenever the thermostat calls for heat, it sends back 24 volts on this white wire, or W on the thermostat. And that goes to the other side of our relay. This is a relay. This allows us to take one circuit, which is being powered by the external power supply, and independently control another circuit, which is our black and white wires from our furnace, and the power does not cross over. So this power from our 24 volt power supply has nothing to do with this power from our furnace. And this relay, this is actually overkill. I don't really need this one. This is called an SPDT relay, single pole double throw. So there's one input. That's the blue and the green wire here. That's one input and that controls one of two switches, depending on whether or not there's power. So normally, this circuit is closed, this top one, and that's why it's capped off, we're not using it. Because that means without applying any power, these wires are, this circuit is complete. We want the sort of standard switch, which is normally open, and that means that with no power, the circuit is open. As soon as we apply 24 volts, the circuit closes, and then that's, closing our circuit for our white and black wires from our furnace. Because really in a two wire system, if we just took the white and black wire and touched them together, we would start up the furnace. It's that simple. There's no sort of magic going on. So that's what the relay is allowing us to do is have an isolated, two, two separate circuits that are completely isolated. And that happens through a little electromagnet in here. So just really quickly again to, to recap, here's our incoming power wire, this white wire. There's a white with a black stripe doesn't matter which one, one of them is separate, one of them is split with this Wago. Half of it goes to one side of the relay, half of it goes to common. The other side goes to our red wire, our 24 volt R wire. 
when the relay, when the uh, thermostat calls for heat, it sends 24 volts from here back on to the white wire, which we take and connect to the other side of the relay. When the relay gets power, it closes this switch, which closes, which connects the white and black, which turns our furnace on. And we're doing the same thing over here with our two wire system for the boiler. Same exact thing. And this is just a temporary solution. When we get our upgraded equipment, it will have a C wire and we won't need any of this. But it's, it's a pretty inexpensive solution. I think the relays are about $15. The power supply is probably about $15 or $20 or something. So it's an inexpensive way, whether it's permanent or temporary, it's an inexpensive way to, um, to get your two-wire equipment working with a more modern smart thermostat that requires 24 volts and a C-wire and uh, you have equipment that can't power it. So let's go take a look at the uh, equipment upstairs, the thermostat upstairs, so we could just see how it's wired. Okay, so I'm back at the thermostat now and I just wanted to walk through the wiring here. We're only using three of the five wires that I have in this thermostat wire. We're using red, white, and blue, or we're using R, W, and C. This is a five conductor thermostat wire and Eventually, when we upgrade to a brand new furnace, we might end up using four of those wires. I'm not sure. But for now, we really only need three wires, and it might actually just stay three wires. And really, it's very simple. The incoming power is red, and that's on R. That's our 24-volt AC. The common wire is the other side of that power supply, and that is the blue and then when the Ecobee calls for heat, it's just taking this red and it's energizing W, which is heat, and that's on the white wire. And so if I put the Ecobee back on one-handed, and then, there we go. If I put the Ecobee back on and just give it a second so it can start up, there we go. All right, so now that the Ecobee is on, we can get that heat to kick in because it's set to a desired temperature of 72 and it's 68 now. So let's go downstairs and check out that relay and see what it looks like. All right, so we're back at the furnace. The Ecobee is on and you can see the relay is energized. So all that means is that that white wire is energized and because we have 24 volts here and we have our common here, that's kicking our relay on, which is in turn closing the switch, which is putting our furnace on. And in fact, if I just take this just as kind of an experiment, do it from this side, take this out. So here's our white wire from our furnace. If I disconnect that, obviously you can see the furnace goes off. So even though the relay is on now, the furnace is off. And then I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but let's just see if we can make that happen. So if we connect this back up again, our furnace goes back on. That's it. I hope this helps somebody. Good luck.